back in his Red Bull days. <laughs> no, I don't think so. The latest thing I saw is um, a thing popped up about him um, and NASCAR. For Dan doing that, it's just basically just because you can and it shits and giggles, basically. Yeah. It, it's not... A, even if he became NASCAR champion, it means fuck all. Yeah, I would much, I'd really be interested to see Dan in Indy cars, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Hmm. Alrighty. Okay, we've got the race set up. I need to click ready to race. Yeah, good lap, man. Mm, could have been better, but anyway, we'll take it. Four hours, let's see how that ends up, eh? All right, everyone. Good morning and welcome to the GSRC Endurance Championship for round two at Watkins Glen. Um, I'll be a race control today along with uh, Brock, Matt, Jordan and Adam. Um, you should all be familiar with the race rules at this point, but I'll cover off on a few topics. Um, so being that it's an endurance race, it's a long event and you can't win it on the first lap or even in the first hour. So on that, any dangerous, aggressive, unnecessary moves that result in incidents during the early laps will be judged harshly. Uh, we expect discipline, patience, and a gentlemanly etiquette during the opening laps, uh, especially uh, around the bus stop. Uh, for the remainder of the race, uh, we'll also harshly penalise any unsafe rejoins. So check your relatives, use your spotters or your teammates to ensure that when you do rejoin, you're not putting any other drivers at risk of an incident. Uh, be mindful of local yellows, uh, drivers that cause incidents or create hazards by not slowing as necessary. Uh, they may be penalised. Um, blue flag procedures are no different than what you're already used to, so the ruling on this is consistent between GSRC and the iRacing Code of Conduct. Uh, the lead car is responsible for ensuring that they make the pass when it's safe to do so, and penalties will be issued for impatience, uh, aggressiveness, uh, unnecessary dive bombs. The lap car is to be mindful of the lead car and ensure they provide the space to allow the passing maneuver. If you are a lapped car, please maintain a consistent line and ensure that your movements are predictable. Penalties will be issued for blocking, failure to leave space, or erratic or late maneuvers. Blue flags are difficult for race control to keep on top of, so if you witness any blue flag issues, please notify us immediately. If there is a safety car, it will be driven manually by one of the race control members. We'll pick up the leader, and pit lane will remain open uh, for the duration of the yellow. If the leader's pit following the pit stop, anyone who is between the leader and the pace car will be waved by, but anyone behind the leader will not, and we will not be cleaning the field either. Um, you don't need to request a tow to the pits, so if you do need to tow at any time, just do so accordingly. And uh, as it's an endurance event, uh, penalties will be issued in race, so the penalties may include drive-through, stop and go, end of grid, or disqualification. Serious offences and repeat offenders will be disqualified as per the GSRC endurance race rules. Um, iRacing issued penalties will not be cleared unless under extreme circumstances, so please follow the iRacing directions to avoid disqualification. In the course of the race, if you do wish to submit an incident to race control, please do so via the race control channel on Discord. There's a template in there for you to fill out. Include your car number, lap number, and the number of the other car involved. 
Um, please don't report incidents over voice comms. I will allow an exception if you don't have a teammate present and they're not going to be back in a reasonable time frame for you. Please keep in-game radio chatter to a minimum. No banter or unnecessary communications. Uh, however, short, simple comms relative to the race are permitted. And as always, there's to be absolutely no swearing on the radio. Most importantly, enjoy yourself out there. Have fun. Race hard but fair. And best of luck to all our entrants. Um, and before we begin, I'd like to thank our GSRC Endurance Round 2 sponsor, Rockdale Volkswagen. And of course, a uh, special thanks goes out to the GSRC committee and all of our race members who are making events like this possible. Um, good luck, have fun, and if you have any questions, please throw them out now. Uh, can I at least uh, get someone just to confirm that that came through, please? From what? Great, thank you. Um, I'll be resetting the grid countdown to one minute now, unless anyone has a protest on that. All right, setting grid countdown to one minute. Yeah. Uh, general question real quick. Going through the bus stop on the warm-up lap, can the left line just go straight, or do you want everyone to follow the bus stop? Uh, follow the bus stop, please. Oh, well, yesterday when I was doing the AI race as a practice, um, most of my passes I was doing in the bus stop. It seems like it's the best place to overtake, actually. Yeah. But, you know... Like, I went both sides, like on the inside and on the outside, and it was doable. Because you get the overspeed down the straight, that helps too if you get a good exit out of one. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, Sean's put an ambulance at the bus stop on my chat. <laughs> now be careful, mate. Someone might die there. Oh, it's a grid 46, yeah, so a few mustn't have turned up. It's capped at 60, yeah. See, now you're talking, you stuffed me. <laughs> we should have had it. We should. 
then we would have got disqualified for having a quali car and a race car. <laughs> But I've got a lifelong contract. <laughs> All right, once the pace car pulls in, the leader will have control of the field. All right. Uh, coming out of the uh, last corner, so... Let's do uh, this. Just uh, as normal. Um, stay behind the leader. Don't uh, overtake before the control line. Thank you. Let's just settle into this race nicely. Safety car, safety car, safety car. For tyres? Do we repeat for tyres? <laughs> safety car, safety car, safety car, incident in the bus stop. <laughs> if the fuel mapping actually worked, this is when we put it down. No, I'll just pull the clutch. Graham, I do have a quick question, sorry. Yep, go ahead. Will it be a single file restart or double file? Uh, we'll go single file restarts for uh, all safety cars, thank you. And it's so foggy. Uh, so pace car is uh, out on the uh, back straight. If you guys want to uh, start heading to catch up. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as per the race rules, pit lane is open. Pit lane is open. It will not close at any time during the race. Oh, so pit lane won't close. Pace car is uh, just at the entrance to the bus stop. Touch wood. <laughs> we are properly midfield, right in the middle. <laughs> Oh, I was breaking like a mofo into turn one, on, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs>
Yeah, I actually like how the tyres are actually working a bit more like tyres now. Oh, well, you won't be tripling, oh, even if it's 15 degrees. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Uh, like, why? 30, I need you to give back position to car triple nine behind you, please. Thank you. And uh, safety car lights out. We'll be going in this uh, in this lap. Safety car will be going in this lap. So the only thing I need from you realistically is surprise attack Safety from the rear. Accelerate away from the field, please uh, maintain your pace. Safety cars accelerating away from the field. <laughs> Well, there's a sudden bunch up there.
All good. Today is getting swamped after that bad exit.
Yeah, I feel that's why I was being cautious before. And then I got swamped. <laughs> Oh, wow. Jeez, that was a bomb. Yeah. Kind of also feel like let them use their tires now which might make me stronger at the end of the stint too. Uh, just a warning issue to car number 14 for the uh, the spin on the pace lap and then regaining the position in future. Uh, if you do spin under a caution lap like that, um, just resume the field where you are. Don't uh, don't try and regain the position, especially during the re race restart. Thank you. I'm trying! Fuck! Fuck, and now I didn't know which way to go.
Yeah, I was on pace with Lachlan the other day in the practice session. Yeah, because you can't really go anywhere. That is surprising that it's really hard to overtake here. That's the problem. Lachlan, the Ford, keeps jumping up and down too. Nah.
drive through penalty issued to car 950 for contact with car 999 on lap 7. Failure to leave enough racing room through the S-Bends. Thank you. Yep, shoot his rear tyres. Thirty-three. I don't know, actually. I thought it was twenty-nine. Whoa, 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 whoa! They're starting to struggle already. Yeah, you're just recovering.
Is there a back marker that Porsche?
Okay, yeah, now he's really holding us up. Car number six, respect blue flag, please. Respect blue flag. Car number six, please respect blue flag. Let the cars faster behind you go. Is that car number six? I wasn't gonna get stuck. <laughs> What's the car in front of the pink Merc? I mean, pink BMW.
That's your last warning for Blue Flags, car six. Next one will be a drive through. He disappeared! The pink BMW, where the fuck is it? He's gone! There he is! Fuck! Three corners he was gone! Oh shit, he's gone again! That's fucked! I've got no idea, he's just gonna pop up inside me in a minute. <laughs> He's still gone. There he is. I just passed him into the bus stop. No further action, there's no point in that. He's not blinking, he's disappearing. Uh-huh.
I think Kevin checked. Yep. Yeah, it does when with my race labs. When I, when I come into pit lane. Alright BMW, it's time to dance, let's see. Yeah, only because I'm not really pushing. No, it's good. Oh yeah, I mean my whole purpose was to try and have a nice calm stint. I know it's been a little bit boring, but <laughs> boring is good. See that BMW behind us, he must have fried his tyres. Because he was keeping pace pretty good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, like what BMW? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping that in that initial part of the stint I'll look after my tyres seeing how we were just in traffic anyway oh good I love that the tyres actually play a role now. Do quality laps all day long. Uh, no further action uh, with the contact between car 879 and car 705 on lap 20, uh, just as the exit of the boot. Um, we put that down to a racing incident and uh, took into account the redress. Thank you. Uh, right, control, intentional, pardon.
Hey, what's going on? Yeah, we're looking, I just saw it. They must have got slowdowns. It is. Safety car too, remember? Oh, it still depends if there's another safety car or not. Let's see, eh? Yep, yep. Might not be odd, it might rain. Yes.
one lap stop and hold penalty issued to car 705 for re retaliation with car 879 on lap 29. Uh, we observed the blocking and the brake check with intentional uh, wrecking. That behavior is absolutely not on. Consider this a final warning. Any further incidents involving car 705 will result in immediate disqualification. That behavior will not be tolerated. Thank you. So, what should be the cutoff for new tyres, do you think? Look, look, do you think anything in the 70s don't get tyres? Whoa! Fuck. Yeah, and they feel pretty good at the moment, so 34 degrees track temp. So just be careful on my tyres, like I said, anything in the 70s, let's just run with them and see how they go. If I... yeah. Yeah, I'm just, because at the moment, like, i still got pace on this guy too, I'm just, I know that I'm stopping in two laps, so there's no point in actually fighting. Is this my in-lap? No, one more. Coming up to turn 10 now. Car 12, we're pitting in.
Coming in. Whoa. Should we just go? Alright, go. No ties. Hmm, <laughs> hopefully it was the right decision. So you reckon you'll be coming in? They clutch it. So let me know if he dives. Yeah, I'm not going to slow down seeing how he's going to come in anyway. Oh man, he balked me. I seen him dive to the right and I went, oh shit. Yeah, because it wasn't for position, that's right. Jeez, how much did they save? I'm going to try and look after that front lift a little bit while the car's heavy. Whoa! No, 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 no! Fuck. Yeah, but that just undid all that good work. I don't know what happened then, just snapped. That was random. Ah. <sighs>
Yeah, I'll concentrate on turn one. Their back marks are they? How far are we from P16? How much? Oh, that's not bad. Maybe they're just shit. <laughs> no. no one's shit in this league, man. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> I know you do. You absolutely love it. I, don't, I, I like it too. Especially in... And absolutely no lines. Uh, drive through penalty. Yeah, it just two stopped two in front of me, man. Fuck me. For the contact with car 77 on lap 38. Thank you. Oh. Uh.
I just don't get it. Good, but the fog is getting worse, it feels like. Thanks, Slapper. That was my first 1x on turn one.
Yes. How much? I've been taking it so easy through here. <laughs>
Christ. <sighs> now, nah, over myself on the bus stop. How long to go? You want to get in? Are you ready to get in? Uh, disqualification for car 77 for an inappropriate paint scheme, uh, taking uh, into account that the uh, the event is broadcasted and uh, we have strict guidelines and policies uh, dealing with paint schemes uh, as well as the iRacing uh, code of contact. Um, I refer you to the uh, club members and club president Angus Cook uh, who made the final authority on that decision. Thank you. Yeah. So you right to go in, I'm coming in. Click the fast repair.
Radio check. Potter, radio check. <coughs> McIntyre has retired. <coughs> I just started pushing because we had some clear air and I just bounced it off that curb and the rear end just went. And I went, fuck, and I just couldn't hold it. Maybe we should have stuck to our guns, bro, and just changed tyres, because see, the rear left is down at 58, and the front left is down to 55, and that's with me trying to look after it. I think we made the wrong call there, mate. You're all clear. Stay behind Live the Live and learn. But yeah, because we, we had a plan, and then we changed it. <laughs> anyway, come on, head down. Ah, oh, fuck. Sorry, Chris. It was it was really good till that point, but... I don't know, just, just lost it. It just hasn't done it, and then just bang, and then you know how it is. Once it goes, it's gone. The gap to Hanson behind is now 8.7 <laughs> seconds. Blue flag. Alright, so... The gap in front has increased. It's now about 12 seconds. Yeah, I'd only just brought it back into the 44s. I did a 44.7, 44.3, so I started slowly pushing a bit harder, but... Blue flag. The tyres weren't up to it. That's a new fastest lap for Schmidt, 145.64. I think so, Chris. It's just not worth it, man, because I was honestly driving like Miss Daisy th from the bus stop through the thing, and then I thought, that's why I've saved a bit. Now I'll start pushing. There's only, there's less than 20 laps to go in this stint. In my mind, I was thinking, oh, let's see if I can chase down P16. But that means in another 20 laps time, those tyres would have... We wouldn't have made the end of the stint, I reckon. Because the drop-off, I think the peak goes steeper. B29. Yeah, we're just off sync now, so. All, all good. Yeah, just spewing Sean. Should have um, stuck to the plan and just got tyres at every stop. We got greedy. <laughs> yeah, Sean was saying in the stream that it's unlucky. It was just that unlucky bounce, that's right. Yeah, I hit it straight on, I just I just couldn't pull it up. So where are we? P29, P13 is ahead. Okay, Chris, come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. P28, that's your quickest lap. Fastest lap for Watson, 143.20. The gap to Hanson behind is now 
Enjoy your lunch, Shawnee. Sean said you got plenty of off tracks in hand. Chris, so <laughs> That was a 145.50. The only thing I found with turn one is just, just break one meter earlier than where you normally break and then you can just come out a bit more safe. But um I'm surprised they only made it twenty two, but I suppose it is a um Yeah. Alright, so guy behind you is P fourteen. What pace is he going? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing how much pace he's got. Yeah, he's in the 45s. Looks like he pitted on lap 35. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, when we pitted together, that's right. Okay. So he got tyres. That's why they took so long, I reckon. Well, I couldn't have pulled out that much of a gap on him. 27. Oh, yeah, okay. So now there's a lap. Yep, that makes more sense. Sorry. The gap to Hansen behind is now 9.3. Yeah, I reckon those front runners just must be clutching it down into turn one, clutching it all around the back. Maybe, maybe they clutch it through the fucking carousel. Cause how much? How do they feel? Save that much fuel, man? Three laps more. Time was at one forty five point six seven. Now that's the leader behind you now, Chris. Blue flag. Yep.
Left He's coming. Side. Still there. Clear left. The gap to Hansen behind is now 7.3. OK, Chris, your lap times are pretty consistent. You think maybe the um the Ferrari just blue flag because it's screaming. It's just using a lot more fuel here. Because I've just been on board with um, Matthew since he passed you, and um, he's not clutching it anywhere. It doesn't look like visibly saving fuel anywhere. Blue flag. Yeah. Wow. Well. Alright Chris, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. The leader's just done a 143.20. You're reeling water in. The gap is 2.8 seconds. Mm, that was scrappy. Right. Play right. Everyone has the scrappy left sleeve and the leaders. Blue flag. On your right. Hold your line, clear right. Clear right. He's Car coming right. down the right. Clear yeah. right. Right side. Clear right. Hanson is closing you down. The gap has come down to 4.1. Yeah. <laughs> OK, Chris, the next car is Porter. B27. All good, all good. Watch out, watch out. Cars coming, cars coming. You're good. 
Car right, clear right, right side, clear right. <coughs> Oh, good bye. Yellow flag. Caution, caution. What's there? Nothing on the right. Okay. Oh, was that him? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and he just got going. 26 is just going up through the S's now, P26. Yeah, like now he's um, going up towards the bus stop. Into the bus stop now. Let's have a look. Looks like he just came out of the pits. In the previous stint, his pace was very slow. 46s, 47s, 48s. Yes. Good old Marcus, here he is in P3. What's his pace like? Yeah, just sitting in the mid, low to mid 43s. <laughs> don't, for, don't forget, Marcus, you learnt it all at FNL 1. <laughs> Gap to Hansen behind is now 8.7 seconds. The leader has just done a 143.08. The car good. I don't think you lost any top end there because I've seen 256, 257, so. Yeah, good. Let me see from the outside because I might chill cock a bit. Nah. All good. You didn't even break your mirror. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the left hand front tire killers that you don't realize. And you're pushing on the accelerator so you're scrubbing it. <laughs> I wonder what that Mitch McIntyre's paint was. Let me go. Let me go have a look. Yeah. B26. But I don't know what, what team he was. The car in front is Porter. In Rice King it says Mitch McIntyre, it doesn't say team. Let's have a look. B 
Yellow flag, watch out. Are you good? Blue flag. God, what lap was he disqualified? It doesn't tell you that either. Oh yeah, then I can catch back up. <laughs> it's a probably drinking is their team name. And on the side, They've just got, I don't know, like a rainbow B25. So with, with writing that says titties over it. <laughs> Instead of skittles, it says titties. <laughs> uh, with the rainbow and the titties, they did not like it. <laughs> They got away with it for it. I want to know who complained or if they just noticed it on the broadcast. <laughs> yeah, nothing else on that side. Sponsored by Titties. <laughs> the Boob. That's what they should have named their team, The Boob. Uh, anyway. Bro, space them out. You know when the team boss is writing your check at the end of this race, he's going to deduct five grand for every X. Yellow flag, fastest lap for... Paul, oh, watch out, what are you doing? What do you want? It looked like he was going the wrong way, he must have spun it and... Well, that was a place, because... I think that was, um... B24. Our mate you were chasing. Oh, pitting 27's in the pits. Yeah, it must be pitting time, is it? Are you right for me to just pop inside for a bit and come back? I'm going to toilet and stuff. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. 23rd place. Sector 2 is 1.4 seconds off the pace.
B-22. Okay, Chris, you're reeling. Martin, in. The gap's now 13 seconds. Flag. We're halfway home, we estimate. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. On your left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. Leaders pitting now. Right side. Hold your line, clear right. Watson is leading the race. P23. You've used half your fuel. We've been called into the pits for repairs. Blue flag.
lead cars pitting. Hughes is now leading.
Oh no! What happened? <laughs> how, how long repairs? Oh jeez, that was. Oh, usually iRacing racing fixes it pretty good now, but oh well. They usually they usually have it so at least you don't have a. You know how like you drove Daytona with a steering wheel down? That doesn't um, they they fixed that. Ah, oh, so you reckon maybe this? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, okay. Oh well, we knew that was always on the cards. It was going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it just sucks when we do it on our own. That's the worst part about it, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh, you lost it on the exit. Yeah, that was a really strange one. Yeah. You kind of, um, yeah, just over that curb where it bounced and then just, yeah. Oh, it happens, bro. I know, I know, that's what I was so down about with my accident, I mean, it was just, the bus stop one, I kind of, I think, in, in doing a, um, what is it, a self-evaluation, I think I kind of screwed myself up, because I went into it with two, two, two approaches, I decided that when I'm with cars, I'm just going to not jump the curb, but when I'm on my own, and I'm attacking the track, I'm going to do it by going close to the fence, but I think that put me out of my rhythm. Uh, and then when I went to the jump, it just fucking caught me out with the shit tires. So I wasn't even drivable back, huh? Do you want to continue or do you want to? All right. Yeah, I'm happy to do whatever, bro. We call it. We can call it and start Fuji practice. <laughs> Put it this way. I mean, we like it. You found we found this league, so it's all good. This is just our first season in it, so you know we can iron out all these kinks and we'll come back bigger and better next season and hopefully start scoring some points yeah we just went backwards with the setup early which probably put me back a couple of days early on but then once we figured all that out then it was good and then it's just like you say we know the track we know the car it was just a matter of figuring out a couple of nuances but it's a shame but you know that's racing you see i didn't like that vrs one that we had here I, I actually went and I started with, um, cause I, I, it was good over that, but the rest of it, I just didn't like it. I don't know. It just wasn't feeling right either. And I mean, granted, I was very pissed off at the time with what the car was doing or not doing. Yeah. So I, I don't know how VRS constantly, their setups always come with, um, 
zero dampers or any adjustments in any of it's always zero 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 it kind of doesn't make sense to me but i guess that's what works for them with their setups but so this one that uh, we we end up running with here it's it's probably um it's an older one from majors that i started with use that as the base and then i worked from there yeah i find, I've, I find they're a bit more drivable like especially in these endurances and stuff like it we've always got a good car it's just that these i mean that's why i like to put the practice in early i like to have the car so that it you know it's going to last not you don't want just the sprint setup that's you know like those guys early on that they they cook their tires after 20 laps oh you're off Um, let's have a look from outside. There's traffic behind. First view looks joining. pretty good. Oh, it looks very good actually. Like, it's not even scratched. Uh, your front left um, guards hanging a little bit. They could have put a bit of race tape on that. <laughs> How's your steering? You know what, bro? As they say, we got nothing to lose now, mate. Just give it some. Let's see what, what we got. Let's have a look at the results. We're in 40 second now. Ah, oh, jeez. Australia Wide Racing is in 41st place. They're six laps ahead of us. I think so. <laughs> We've only got an hour and 38 minutes left to make up 22 places and about seven laps. <laughs> I think even a safety car ain't helping us today. <laughs> okay, Chris, double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. E42. What I do find interesting, though, especially compared to uh, Road America is how strong the Porsches are here like see we've got a Porsche in third place now whereas there wasn't even a Porsche in the top 10 in Road America that's what I'm saying because it's, it's the OP car after the patch I really like driving it but I'm liking the Ferrari now I'm, you, you're getting me used to the Ferrari so I'm liking it I never used to love the Ferrari so much because it always had so much push, but now I've figured out how to get the setup so I could actually, yeah, and have the rear end a little bit looser so it actually rotates, and it's nice now. Like that turn six down the hill after the bus stop and carousel, like that one there, if, if I get it perfect, I don't really steer the car much at all. It's just, just I just initiate the steering get, to get the car in, and then the rest is just with the pedals, and I just get it through there perfectly, which is what I like about the Porsche. Sort of. <laughs> but you haven't complained. You're liking the way you keep saying, oh, it feels good. just done a 145.69 and, that's what, and I think that's what the Ferrari has the advantage of it's got a wide setup window like you can like I said if you like understeer you can set it up to have massive understeer
<laughs> oh, how to get to Sesame Street? But she feels all right. On your left, clear left. <laughs> Let's not not let anyone through. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let them say they're fucking FNL one. Look at that. Like, move under braking and everything. Fuck it. <laughs> Car 788, heating now. Car 205, warning. Dorman, ahead is pitting. Flag. Could have gotten out of the way a lot sooner. And then when you actually get impeded in qualifying, it's it's fine. By a car that's doing an outlap. I was wondering that. Like I was wondering if that car that impeded us is like in with the kick. Is he a regular? Hmm. Whereas we're just ring ins at this point in time. Yeah. Well, you know what? If we stick with it, and then we're on the grid again next season, and whatever, that that's how it, that's how it grows, right? That's how you cement yourself, I guess. So, but unfortunately, when human decisions uh, are made, 50, please tow. Uh, 50, please tow. especially like this, um, there is inevitably going to be bias, isn't there? Yep. I have to agree, but at the same time, like you said, I don't know. I'm not sour grapes. It is what it is. I mean, realistically, he impeded me there, but then I fucked up myself the next lap, and if I didn't do that, I would have got two flying laps in. And then I screwed my own flying lap up, so... You know, you know it's in or there. <laughs> P42, you've just done a 145.36. Yeah, I'd take that further and say ultimately in sim racing we are our own enemy. <laughs> My first stint, I, I was very happy with that. I was nervous, obviously, starting the car for a change, but it worked out well. I, yeah, I really exercised caution, and I was, you know, reminding myself, no, no, it's a long race, dude. I don't need to, you know, win it here. So I did approach it with a plan, and I actually executed it, which I'm very happy with that. Car number 40, warning, adhere to blue flag, warning, adhere to blue flag. See, this race control guy is a new one, Adam Bishop. Ah. I haven't even looked in the gentleman sim um, discord, what are they whinging about today? Yeah, true. That lap time was 145.68.
People were a bit upset early on at 11 a.m. Like Robbie Bradbury was. Is this a four-hour race or a one-lap race? He must have been caught up in that bullshit on lap one. Someone else said, "For fuck's sake, is this week 13?" Yeah, yeah. Few sour grapes. So, like, like, like we were saying, so we're not the only ones. Like this bloke here. Are you right? So you're just driving by yourself now, aren't you? There's just one guy behind you. Yeah. He he says overly aggressive moves will be frowned upon. Then he, okay, okay. And then he goes, get taken out, and we have damage, and they don't. And that's called a racing incident. Well done. <laughs> I actually don't like this like when people are sour grapes in the open forum on discord you know what I mean like it's just it's, it's not a good look and like what we always said too when we were running FNL one races like no we don't take this take your crying ass somewhere else because we've always said that is the problem being a steward a steward's job is to upset someone you're never gonna up, um, make both parties happy Because if we put a protest in and he, and he sees it in our favour, then the other team's going to be whinging about saying, oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> He's going to V8 supercars now. Back to the V8 supercars where he started. Yeah. It got it got it got announced um, a few weeks ago. No, I don't really. I try to. I mean, but because Zen really loves him, like he actually follows him, and he's not he's not a staunch fan like the old like Mikey and some of those boys in FNL one were, you know, V8 heads. But so I started trying to fo follow it a bit, but um. Yeah, I can only watch a few races of the year. Like, I'll watch Bathurst. Your last lap time was at 145.72. Sector 3 is 0.9 off the pace. I always watch Bathurst. Keep it up. That's a good point, but I do love those cars on that track. <laughs> but that, yeah, that's right. Well, the other week when they are at Winton or whatever... In, it didn't warrant me stopping whatever I was doing in my own time to sit down on the couch and watch it, whereas for Bathurst I will. <laughs> I didn't even bother buying it on air, I think. Did you buy this latest track that came out, the German one or something? I haven't bought that either, I just figured to myself, ah, oh, one day when there's a race there and I need it, I'll buy it. Um, fog that's stuck around all day is annoying too. We get to lift. That was at 45.87. 
So we're in 42nd. We've dropped 21 places. The um, car in front of us, they've only dropped two places since they started the race. <laughs> and then the car in front of them, which is in car 40th, Barbecue Motorsports, they've dropped four, 34 places. So they're having a worse race than us, then, if that's how we're <laughs> judging it. <laughs> Clear left. Yeah. I think they were um, in the top five. It's all right, it's all right. Yep. Blue flag. Just doing his own thing. <laughs> you thought fucking Oz, he did it on the entry into the bust of amateur. Watch me do it on the exit. <laughs> B41. Oh, someone else must have retired. <laughs> Well, still says 42nd on uh, race laps and on iRacing. I think Crew Chief doesn't know what's going on. He's very. He's on the piss. He's thinking it's Sunday afternoon. These blokes are nowhere. I'm fucking drinking beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I've got, I'm watching you through um, mixed camera and just as it looked like you were losing it, it changed camera angles and I went, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I, I really do too and um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling good. It's just some just some stupid mistakes just got to iron out but that is part of it all isn't it it's not an excuse it's just a fact it's got to get better you just got to get better yeah get good <laughs> get some titties on your car <laughs> can, can we just put some um some innocuous titties on our car without the word and see if we can get away with it in the next race. Let's let's see if you can have the most innocuous thing that gets away with it. <laughs> let's start a new competition. <laughs> yeah. P42. We'll, we'll come to Fuji with uh, Dildo Racing. <laughs> Car left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Blue flag. No, it's so all good. Well, I reckon we were the fastest Ferrari out there because the first Ferrari on the leaderboard is coming 13th at the moment and their laps are in the 46s to 45s.
the guy before was in the 44s. Oh, I'm going to say without our fuck ups, I think a top 15 was very realistic today. Yep. So we keep saying that, but that's the reality. We just got to stop these crashes. Drive through issued to car number 14 for the unsafe rejoin, uh, resulting in contact with car 705 on lap 84. Uh, in the future, when you've uh, spun like that, just keep an eye on your relative and uh, hold your brakes. Don't move until there is a, a large gap behind you. Thank you. That's what it is. That's what costs us. Like, you know, we could be so much better results once we stop making silly mistakes. Like, I call that a silly mistake today, but realistically, the silly mistake I feel like was not taking the tyres in the pits. Blue flag. Yeah. Yellow flag. Well, I guess having made that decision to gamble, then the stupid decision on the driving perspective. Ooh. Oh, and then he nearly reversed into the other car. So I guess you're right, that was a calculated gamble we took, and then I guess the, the silly decision then was on me for when, when I decided to push. I should have just kept at that granny pace till the end of the stint. <laughs> and I mean, the car felt good, I knew it was sliding a bit more, but then it's just, you got to take everything into fact, like see 58% rears, when it landed it didn't grip like it's supposed to. There's, with so much more fuel in the car. <laughs> it's all about living and learning, so it's like, you know, the tyres can only do so much. You can't ask more of them. I just hope this is not a one-off. I hope it's more of a... I hope this is the way iRacing is now, where the tyres actually do play a role. Like, I hope we don't go to Fuji and you can just triple stint the tyres now. Because <laughs> yesterday when I was talking to you, my plan was that, no, we will get tyres at every pit stop and we'll take advantage of those guys who double stint and make mistakes. And we flipped that around today and became that one who made the mistakes. <laughs> anyway, but let's see. That's, I'm not whinging about it, it's just analysing it, really. What we could have done differently. Yeah. P42. What is the track Flag. now? Now it's at uh, 36, so it's getting a bit hotter. Slowly. You know what would be kind of cool for this series to like stick to the tracks rather than just change like and have like six new tracks next season? Hmm. 
No, I, I think it would be nice, I reckon, if... What is it, a six-round series? I think change two of the tracks. Blue flag. So then season on season, you've got something to refer... reference to? Ah, uh, that's true too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fair call. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. There's a car stopped up here. Oh, go. Yeah, what was that? Was you letting your go, but then you didn't go, or...? On your right. <laughs> Clear right. Yeah, so no investigation necessary for the unsafe rejoin on uh, car 405 and 41. Um, just a gentle reminder to car 41 to, to observe the yellow flag and just be uh, anticipate and expect that there probably is an incident in front of you. Thank you. Oh, Marcus Watson's driving with his um, uncle today. Hmm. Still not a bad replacement when you can bring in a 4.5 KI Raider to replace a 9 KI Raider. I know it sounds massive, but... Once you're getting over 4K, it's they're all sort of same. Yeah. Yeah, you're probably right. Consistency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah especially in endurance racing i don't feel like my pace or even yours too like you know i it's not um our pace isn't the issue it's just all the other stuff that comes with it yeah like well we're not entering these races to win it against these eight nine kers but we could easily be consistent top 10 finishers if we just drove within our limits. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. So, but 
where we are now, it's just all those things outside of our pace. If we could cut that out, we would be consistent top 10 finishes because our pace is fast enough for that. Yeah. And all by the other side, I just need to actually just knuckle down and start doing more official races. Hmm. Far left. Blue flag. Clear left. That lap was a 145.77. Yeah, I think um, jumping the curb like we do closer to that thing is, is good for thing, but I think for race, 
it's good to come out at like half the curb, but you got to get the line perfect. Hmm. Pipping you up, buddy. Okay, Chris, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Car right. Clear right. Blue flag. Please. Come on, give us a safety car now, race control. <laughs> that lap was a 144.75, sector 2 is 0 0.8, off the pace. Yeah, nice. Greg Watson in uh, race control, can we get lap cars sorted? Oh my god! <sighs> you'd love him, don't you? <laughs> oh, you'd love to slap him. Hello to you, Craig, if you're watching. <laughs> Here he comes, here he comes Chris. Making his charge to the top 10. <laughs> nah, you gave some back in the last two turns. Yeah, the fastest way through it is to have the car, like, almost spinning out. <laughs> Blue flag. Would you hit that on the curb, on the inside curb?
Yeah, it looks like your right hand's sticking out a bit. <laughs> I think that's our day done. Blue flag. It's one hour to go still, so... We may as well just jump into a practice right. lobby Stay and right. do laps if that's it. <laughs> Uh, long as the repairs. Let's have a look just to see how they're doing. I, I'm, I'm happy to call it a day. We tried. We tried. It's racing. That's what happens, mate. Yeah. Good on you. I was about to tell you to put your relative up so you can have something to race against. <laughs> yeah, all good. Like I said. We're too old and don't give, we give zero fucks about little things like that that don't matter. So it's, you know, we'll just try again next time. We were what? Yeah, no, no I'm telling you, I was having a look while you were driving just at the top 15. That Lachlan guy I know from um, that Oz Pro Am, he he was fast there too. But um, but he's very aggressive. Yeah, uh, that's the thing with racing, Chris. You know, like one of these days we will get it right. It's a shame we can't, you know. And then once after we start getting things right, then the next thing to do is put a season together and consistently get points. Yeah, like, honestly, I don't know if I'm just blowing my own horn, but I feel like I've improved heaps in the last six months. Just purely with my pace and driving, like, it's... I feel like I'm in control rather than the, just trying to save the car all the time, you know what I mean? Like, I can push it when I want, and I can hold it within. Yep. No, it's the consistency. Yeah, <laughs> we're done. We got nothing to gain by sticking around for another hour, bro. <laughs> so just a friendly reminder to all drivers in the closing hour of the race uh, that we uh, expect uh, a better observation of blue flags uh, going forward. We've had a lot of uh, a lot of complaints about blue flag procedures, so uh, please be mindful. Look at your relatives. Observe the blue flags. Uh, make sure you facilitate an easy pass. Uh, but bearing in mind that the safe pass, it, the onus is on the leading driver. Um, if you are uh, seeing poor blue flag uh, procedures, please just... Uh, I'm happy for you to voice your mm. concerns in, into, uh, into the game chat here, uh, as long as you keep it brief. Thank you. The, it's just, I don't understand, though, if you are the blue flag car. Like, whenever I see the leader coming up behind me, up the straight there. Yeah, he's half a second behind me still, but there's no point in me pushing and then holding him up through the bus stop. So I just roll off the throttle, let him pass, go in behind him. It's like, it's very simple. It's not hard to do. No, that's, that's a fact. Yeah, like if you're one second, like... See, for me, what I think is, I think of it differently in that half a second is very close because if I'm lapping you and, and I'm the leader, let's say, and you're in 40 second place and you're just staying half a second in front of me, and let's say I, 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 you're keeping my pace and you're only half a second, but that is too close for if you have a wobbly and can't control it, I'm straight into you. That, I think that's where the problem is, you know, like you can easily end my race. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
So, maybe the problem is that G2 